It's a profession as old as time, but an important one. It's Clockmaster, and the city actually has one. He keeps city clocks ticking, and today is one of his biggest days of the year. CBS 2's Andrea Klein-Thomas shows you why. In this story, you'll see only on two. Moment by moment, New York City's Clockmaster is turning back time. Just a day ahead of daylight saving time, 79-year-old Marvin Schneider adjusted the time on about half a dozen mechanical clocks throughout City Hall. When you change the time, you only go ahead. There is machinery in here, and if we go backwards, we'd cause damage. Schneider finished with the most important one. City Hall's iconic clock tower. People look to this clock as uh, something that represents the city. This one is controlled from underneath and required a few more steps than the others. But to Schneider, it all comes naturally. He says it doesn't feel like work. This is a baby. It's about 160 years old. His curiosity and passion for clocks started at a young age and ultimately landed him a part-time job as the city's clockmaster. The prominent preservationists came up with the idea that it would be good for New York City to have an official clockmaster like European cities do. Up until that point, he was helping to repair city clocks for free. Now Schneider doesn't operate alone. His volunteer assistant, Forrest Markowitz, also sees the importance in making sure these pieces of history tick on. It's just very easy to say, I'm going to throw it out. But you're losing that link with the past. How long will Schneider do it? I can't say. Uh, suffice it to say that I'm surprised that I'm still doing it now. Just like he has for the past 27 years, Schneider resumes his weekly maintenance, like clockwork. Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. We asked Schneider why he turns the clocks back a day ahead of time. He said simply because he won't be out Sunday at 2 a.m. to do it. A practical man. A craftsman, too. He also says it's a good reminder for everyone that daylight saving time is, in fact, coming. Don't forget. That's right.